Tonight, health leaders in both St. Louis and St. Louis County are sounding the alarm. They're seeing growing cases of sexually transmitted illnesses, and they're afraid it's having an impact on newborns. Five on your side's Brent Solomon is live downtown, where officials say there's work to be done to get more resources to pregnant women. Brent. Well, health leaders say over the past couple of years, nearly five dozen children have been born with syphilis. That's more cases than in the previous two decades combined. Health leaders say it should serve as a wake up call. Where you have one STI, there's always the chance that you're going to have another STI. That's why Suzanne Alexander with the St. Louis Health Department says now is the time to act. City and county leaders putting out a health alert Thursday. Increased incidence of HIV and syphilis co-infection. They're concerned people are catching the diseases, aren't being tested or treated, putting newborns at risk. The longer that she's had syphilis and no prenatal care, the more at risk her baby is. On the low end of the scale, it can lead to this. Mild uh, neurocognitive delay. We might be looking at uh, some, some bone issues, weaknesses, or abnormal growths. At the worst level, babies. Might also be born with uh, substance use disorders themselves. Health leaders tell me there are laws on the books in other states that Missouri doesn't have that could help. And Missouri does not have a mandate to test in the third trimester. They test at delivery. By then it's too late to treat the cause of congenital syphilis. On the flip side, she says getting treatment to a mother with syphilis early could result in her child being born without the illness. One of the very easiest things we could do is start testing all pregnant moms in that third trimester. Then we need to make sure that every pregnant person in the city of St. Louis has access to prenatal care where they are, meaning we meet them where they are. Now, health leaders are trying to work through the barriers that keep people from getting tested, such as the stigma, transportation, or child care issues. One idea they're looking at, creating more mobile nurses. You can read that entire public health alert right now on KSDK.com. Mike.